Hello guys, in this video we will see how to backup and restore database in PostgreSQL on Windows operating systems. We are going to use the logical backup that is pg underscore dump. Use it to dump a database at a time, not all databases. Okay. We are going to use the plain text format. First we will take backup and restore globals. The globals are nothing but the users and roles and table spaces. Okay. Then we will take the backup on the source server and restore it to target server. See. On this machine, I have two versions, PostgreSQL 16 and 13. Okay, I'm going to take backup from 16 to 13, but the process is same. Okay, so I have created a directory for the backups. Okay, this is the directory for the backups, and I have I have 16 and 13. See here, in 16 I have seven databases, and 13 I have two databases. But 16 runs on the port number 54. Double three, okay, and on sixteen it is running on five four double two, okay. This is the default port, okay. So open CMD, go to PostgreSQL installation directory. That is go to C drive, then go to the PostgreSQL region score dump file is there. CD program files, DIR, see I have the PostgreS, okay. CD PostgreSQL clear screen, DIR, see I have the two versions, 13 and 16, go to 16, DIR, see I have the bin directory, in this bin directory we have the pg underscore dump and psql or plg underscore restore commands, restore tools or libraries, cd, bin, clear, DIR, see we have pg underscore dump, psql and pg underscore Restore. We have all the tools, okay. The tools that which are required to backup and restore, okay. Clear screen CLS. I want to take the backup of connect to PSQL. See, I have these databases. Now I am going to take backup of this R2 schools database. So before first going to take backup, we have to take the globals. Globals are nothing but the users and roles. See, let us see the list of the users. See, I have five users. Let us verify in 13. See, I don't have the those users in 13. Okay, let me minimize. Let me minimize. Go to command prompt. See here we have also pg underscore dump okay cls pg underscore first we are going to take backup of globals pg underscore dump all hyphen u then provide the username post ingress then hyphen file hyphen 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 g g means globals then provide the file name hyphen f file name is i'm giving globals dot SQL. Hit enter. Then provide the password. Okay. I don't have the permission, so I have to give the path. So I want to copy that to copy this path, paste it, give forward slash and hit enter. Then provide the password of the Postgres user. Now go to the backups. See, we have the globals. Okay. Then now take the backup of R2 schools database pg underscore dump then provide the host name host name is local host if you have the remote host you have to give the host name or ip then hyphen p see as i told you earlier process equal 16 is running on 5432 on this we have the r schools database but 13 is running on port number 5433 okay so i'm going to take backup from this 16 and restore it to 13 but generally we take the backup from 13 to 16 okay so port number is 5432 then hyphen d we have to provide the database name database name is r schools then if you want to give the password you have to give the hyphen w i'm not going to give then give the greater than symbol or hyphen f okay then hyphen f hyphen f 
caps f means format if you give the c it is custom format but i am going with plain text format then hyphen f then you have to provide the this path okay but i am giving instead of hyphen f i am giving greater than symbol then copy the path this is the backup path paste it then give the file name auto schools underscore give the date 16 april then year then dot sql then hit enter now provide the password of this control c i forgot to give the hyphen u then username hyphen u then username caps u it is then hit enter then provide the password of user hit enter it is success c we have the backup file okay see this is the content of that backup file now we have to restore this backup but before restoring we have to first restore the globals by using the command psql hyphen f then give the less than symbol then we have to mention the port number otherwise it will restore to the current one then 54 double three less than symbol then give the path and provide the backup file name. globals file name this is the global plane file name so globals dot sql okay let me show you see at present i don't have any user roles or logins okay so minimum go to the hit enter then provide the password of this user see it is saying password authentication failed okay give the hyphen u postgres remove the hyphen f hyphen p okay hit enter then provide the password of the user see it is success because this role is already exists so it performed these actions okay if you refresh this one on 13 that is the assume target see all the roles are copied are restored to this target one okay next we have to create database because we don't have the author schools right click on it create database create database i'm giving database name is author schools and click on save see empty database we have created but if you go to the schemas public tables see we don't have any tables okay now we will restore it taken back up by using hyphen caps f and p if you have given the hyphen c then you have to use the p gens for restore but this is plain text format so i am giving hyphen p if you are using custom or compressed custom or compressed backup you have to use this one and remaining options are same okay for plain text format i am giving psql hyphen d database name is auto schools then provide the target host name hyphen h then we have to give the host name here my host name also same for that let me clear the screen cls psql hyphen h localhost hyphen d auto schools then we have to give the hyphen p port number my port number is this one but your case it may be different okay maybe 5432 then give the less than symbol then complete path or give hyphen f both are same less than symbol then forward slash then give the this auto schools backup file name if you don't know it right click copy it paste it hit enter then provide the password see it is saying password authentication file again i forgot to give the username give the hyphen u hyphen caps u postgres hit enter then provide the password see it is success see it copied this many rows okay it has created alter and all okay so now if you go to here right click on this artist schools refresh see all tables are copied okay so we have successfully performed postgresql database 
backup and restore on Windows operating systems. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how to do the same from the PG admin. So, for more process equal server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.